The community of Stockton is preparing to pay final respects to fire captain Max Fortuna, who was shot and killed on the job. KCRA 3's K Recede sat down with the fire chief and shares the legacy that Fortuna leaves behind as his colleagues are continuing to mourn. She joins us live now from Fire Station 2. K. Edie, both the fire chief and the fire captain started their careers together. They became colleagues, friends, family, and the fire chief sits down with us to share his fondest memories of Fortuna and how he felt when he found out that Fortuna had died. I would have been heartbroken for anybody on this job. And when I found out who it was, uh, I just broke down and cried. Around the table where Stockton firefighters gather. His smile, it was, uh, it was addicting. I, I, he could get the whole, the whole table here to, to break out in laughter. Stockton Fire Chief Rick Edwards shares his memories of Captain Max Fortuna. We were hired with six other firefighters at the same exact time and went to the fire academy together. A longtime colleague and friend. If anything should happen, you know he's, he's there, he has your back for you. As we've reported, Captain Fortuna was shot and killed early Monday morning as he and his crews tried to put out a fire. Chief Edwards says the loss is immeasurable. I wish I would have told him how much he meant to me. Um, how much I cherished his friendship. At the table, across from where Fortuna usually sat, Edwards says his team will remember the captain who made them smile, laugh, a leader who dedicated his life to protecting Stockton. Our members will come back and they'll continue that healing process as we get back on the rigs and answer the call when the community needs us. Captain Fortuna's funeral is set for Tuesday. The public is invited to take part of the procession. Live in Stockton, K Recede, KCRA 3 News. And hopefully the department knows they certainly have the support of the community at a really tough time. K, thank you.